you listen to certain songs and you see certain uh, paintings or works of art, like for example, like Bob Dylan, some of his songs, I don't comprehend the stuff he was doing in the late 60s, I don't comprehend any of it. I don't like follow, like if someone asked me, what does he mean by, by that line or, or something, I wouldn't be able to ever explain it, but I have tons of drawings and, and sketches and, and other things that I've made inspired by that very song or inspired by those very words because of the because of the feeling they gave me and somehow they helped me articulate an experience in my own life. It, it gives me some tools to be able to, it gives me some tools and some direction to be able to um, better explain my own situation or better explain my own life. And so what we're going to try to do this evening is with the with whatever experience whether it's something so vivid that it actually brings a recent memory to you or if it's something that's more of a metaphor or if it's something that's more of just an impression or something you pick out that's different from the others we're going to use that feeling we're going to use that emotion we're going to use that idea or that image to try to create something ourselves this artist has uh, passed away uh, uh, quite a few years ago, uh, a, a, a few years ago, and has had a, a marvelous career and has, has done a lot of work. Um, but when they created this work in the time here that I'm not going to touch on, they were working from their specific experience, from a specific context, from specific inspirations, with specific media. And those ideas, those things, some of them are written about, some of them you can glean from looking at it, some of them you know from your own understanding, your education, art history, but some of them are gonna have nothing to do um, with your own experience, with, with what you might get from it or what we might create from it this evening. So let's try this. I want you to think about the thing that Adira wanted you to focus on. Think of that image. Bring it back to your mind, I'll give you a few seconds to do that. And I want you to think about why it gets stuck in your mind. What made it relevant? And with your pencil and paper, I want you as best as you can, we're gonna spend a few minutes doing the following. As best as you can, without any color of course, because you don't have any, recreate that Recreate that image, recreate the thing, the specific thing that's uh, speaking to you. And then from that, I want you to also connect to it, draw from that. I want you to also draw a way of showing what it means to you. The first thing that I noticed was the balance, and I might be the only one that noticed it. So I tried to draw the little part in the middle is a little scale where they balance the whatever it is going. And I saw the balance in the way that it's broken up into four sections. So if you cut it in half, it's still equal. And then you have this mirror which reflects the image. So that's a balance of two different views of the image. And then you have the newspaper here. You have the newspaper over there. You have a little pink here. You have a little pink there. You have the stitching in the jeans on the side. And if you look closely on the little clocks with the little triangles uh, under the bottom, yeah. Those lines aren't complete lines, they're actually little dots that look like stitching. So that's two stitching, of course the two wings which are in balance with each other. And the or, the way it is a straight line, I equated that to this random straight line he put here. So I just saw balance throughout the whole piece. So that's why I just made my drawing a balanced piece. And how it has random little drawings in it, I think that relates to his randomness. randomness. I most like I may most likely be like, just grab that stuff and put it on there, okay, I'm gonna do that. But you see all of this order. You see a very a, a very deliberate process throughout all of that. And then you represent that through these very like detailed, constructed, very meticulous lines. Like you took your time to sketching the lines out to make sure it was even. I right? chose the time pieces in this exact line. That sort of stuck to me about time infinite or anything. So when I was drawing, 
I was thinking about how that the time, my version, the time is, it has more variety. In this, in this piece, the time pieces are the same size, the zigzags are the same size, it's all even. And in my drawing, none of it is even. Time is long and short and fast and slow, and time is just such a variety of life, and all of a sudden time stops. Whether it's your lifetime, or whether it's a project you're working on, that there is an end, but it's really not a definite end. It's the end of that era. That's what it spoke to me. You saw a uh, interesting construction in, in this piece, and you, and you saw the the, the um, like the rigidness of it, the, the details, the, the directness of it, and and then you recreated that and then remixed it to represent how your experience really is and, and how, uh, and, and I relate to that absolutely. It, it's not, it, it's not at all like that. It seems time is completely untamed and gets away from us. Sometimes it seems like it, it drags on forever, depending on what uh, day it is. And it, it, there's this random, randomness mixed in with it. Sometimes it feels on a, where it, it's impossible to account for it. That's really interesting. So, and, and I like the first one you did, you kind of followed the pattern, what it did. Well, was that your plan to do that initially, to, to follow the pattern, and then to really interpret it the way you saw it, or, or did that kind of evolve? Did it, um... No, I wanted to like, have a visual of the, pic, of the portion of it. And then work, and then work from that. See, that's really, that's really interesting to me, because, like, in, in my experience, and, and what I've seen some artists do, Say Emily could turn this into a painting, uh, her own painting, and that part, this this um, this balance or, or this um, direct image isn't replicated at all. But instead, you see these di you see these diverse divergent lines and, and this drama, and you see that directly. And maybe you've never seen this piece in your life, so all you see is wow. That's a really dramatic interpretation, possibly of time. But you may have no idea that this was inspired by this image, which to the artist represented, okay, yeah, they, they're representing time as something very, you know, direct and, and it, 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 it makes sense, and very logical, very straightforward, but that's not my experience. What, what's beautiful about that is that I think that's how a, a lot of great works of art occur. They may start with something, you, you'll see works of art that have elements or are even based completely on elements from other works of art that you may not have any idea were a part of that. But they're not, they're, they, while that may seem kind of derivative, they've taken that idea and they've created their own experience from it. They've done something different. Has anyone ever like, seen something like that? And, and you, whether you know it or not, you've experienced it all the time, especially if you listen to Hip hop, for example, like there's so many, there's so many, um, there's so many songs out there that are like you recognize a tune or you or you res or a beat resonates with you because it's actually a song from the 70s or it's a song from the 80s or the 60s even. And what they've done is they've taken that beat and retold the story, just like Emily's done here. She's taken a piece, a beat from this uh, work. And then she's retold her story in, in this uh, unique way. I guess for me, the thing that stood out, like clearly I'm not, this is not my forte, but I do like that the ore stood out to me. And the thing that stood out about the ore was that it was broken at the top. Um, for me, the piece was about work-life balance. Um, I thought it was interesting because you have, everything is in lines and it's very orderly. Right, and I think a lot of times we think about life and we think about work. And I was looking, initially I was looking to see if there's any correlation between the newspaper pieces that were picked. Yeah. Um, the first thing that I saw here was business opportunities and I thought about it and like, you know, the phrase, oh, the tangled web we leave is right, well, there's a web right under it. And that was the thing that first came to me. And so I thought about it in terms of, you know, we live in a world that's very busy. We've got references to time and knowledge and the pursuit of knowledge and the pursuit of happiness and what that looks like. That's kind of what I gleaned from all the different pieces of paper that were here. And if you look, they're printed in different ways. They're copied in different ways. When we think about that, like the crux of that would be, you know, I need my Starbucks in the morning type of thing. And I saw the wings kind of 
the absence of the coffee cup being kind of like a liberation, the idea of all these things of nature and the outdoors and things that you could do with your time if you weren't so busy chasing the idea of work, um, kind of seen in these things that are encased and kind of blocked off and then this kind of space is just open blank space that can be used to be creative. Like what could you do with your time? Um, and I think just in that doodle, um, the coffee cups at the side initially kind of was like a law scale yeah. kind of thing, but then it kind of like progressed to like in the heart of a clock and there's like an eye that kind of has the or in the center of it. Like what, like to me, my focus of attention, like I'm a social worker, so yeah. like self care, balance, that type of thing, you know, what are you doing? You know, as someone, we mentioned earlier mental health, right. Uh, right. you know, where is that balance? Where is that coming from? I noticed that 76 was the timeline, and, you know, if you look at that in the 80s, the rise of psychotropic medications, and so anyway, the short of it is, I really thought that just the idea of balance in life coming together, um, it's really what I got, and that's kind of why there's like so many different pieces. Oh, absolutely. And, and it's like you took the piece and then rearranged it the way in, in where it's directly reflecting what you see. And that's, 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 it's, 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 it's a beautiful, um, it's a beautiful interpretation in, in, in what you did. Thank you all so much for, for, for participating in this. What, um, what I was hoping um, to explore is, is exactly what, what your works uh, did and, and what I'm sure if we had time to discuss everybody's work, it, it showed that we're able to create from creations and creativity from others' creativity often. And um, because with our own experience, sometimes we just need a little push to create, to creatively articulate it. And even when you're looking at a work of art, the ability to, um, as Adira explained, observing the work of art and, and taking in from it and, and then bringing your own experience to it enhances the entire experience because you can't rely just solely on the artist's interpretation especially when they're not even alive to explain it anymore and the next step from just going to a work and being inspired and, and enjoying it is is being able to take from that and then create something of your own, or maybe use things, maybe use the tools that this artist has used to the, uh, maybe using this artist's work especially as a tool to articulate your own experience, the way that this artist has articulated his experience. And sometimes we do that through movies where we, we, we maybe see a process or a certain style of direction that inspires us to figure out how to tell our own story or we hear a song, or hear certain lyrics, or read a certain poem that, that leads us to start thinking about how we are one, 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 Some CEO said that poets are, are, are our original uh, operating uh, systems or uh, systems thinkers. The way they take life, something that seems uncomprehensible, and they make it make sense. And with using art, even if this piece doesn't make direct sense to you because you don't know where it comes from, the feelings that it gives you, the inspiration that it gives you, the, the representations of items, of random items, what they mean to you, that gives you tools to be able to tell your own story, to be able to share your own experience, to be able to create your own work and hopefully your own masterpiece one day. So here's the homework, try to create the second part of your piece, what the, 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 when, you, when you told the story, how it meant to you, the, um, the work-life balance, identifying balance um, in, in life and in everything, and the, uh, the, the elusiveness and the strangeness of time. And I want you to create a piece without using the original image that inspired you. I want you to take the oar out, take out the clocks and the lines, take out the, the organized, detailed lines that you follow from this and try to create something that has that feeling, that has that representation, but it doesn't have anything from this.